crime has he committed? asked Pilate. But they shouted all the louder, Crucify him! Then he released Barabba to them, and he had Jesus flogged and handed him over to be crucified. Who is constantly referred to as Barabba and constantly distinguished from the other Yeshua called Hamashiach? Notice that Barabba was released and Hamashiach was crucified. So if Gomorrah is Dubai is going to claim that his Bible teaches that Yeshua the Messiah was released and someone else crucified, then he must butcher the text in order to come to that conclusion. I must say, as far as evidence in any regard goes, I do not envy the position of Muslims. No, no, Radical, you'll get the mic in a few seconds. Let me just handle the hecklers. Obviously, this is a Saturday night raid from our Christian... Oops, not our... Our atheist Halloween masters, yeah? We have our atheist Halloween masters who reject their Holy Ghost. <laughs> we have our athe... A.K.A. Babylonian Christians in the room. Okay, guest. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran they did not kill him, nor did they crucify him. They did not kill him, nor did they crucify him, but it was made to appear to those. Why? Because Allah confirms in Surah Al-Baqarah that he deceives those who are deceptive already. Surah Al-Baqarah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala allows the deceived people to permeate in their deception. You see? Now, Allah tells us in the Quran that they believed Jesus was crucified through their own deceptive hearts. So what this indicates to us is the synagogue of Satan boast Jesus was crucified. Jesus was crucified. Anyone who says Jesus was crucified, we know they are the synagogue of Satan. The synagogue of Shaitan will boast Jesus was crucified when God himself Pike, do you reject that God deceives? Do you, is the ultimate deceiver according to your Bible? Hmm? Do you reject Jeremiah 20 verse 7 that your Yahweh deceives his own prophets? Answer the question. Let us come before him with thanksgiving And extol him with music and with song. Sing hallelujah, hallelujah. Sing hallelujah. that the Jews didn't he said the Jews are not to blame for the death of Jesus it is the Bible which blames the Jews for the death of Jesus the Bible blames the Jews for the death of Jesus who dotted Nacodemon yeah if there's an admin in the room that dotted anyone if they feel like freeing them after a certain amount of time that's fine one second let me turn down let me turn down the TV Uh, Lake Show, the admin that would uh, have dotted him would have to undot him. And plus, Nag Demon is a waste of time, anyways. This guy's a kid. He presents nothing to the room. He presents these fraudulent arguments that absolutely don't make sense whatsoever, and oftentimes in a deceptive manner. Just like Radical. Just like Radical. Uh, Julius. Africanus quotes the historian Thales in the discussion of the darkness which yes again Rasieta ex eventu they're using and accepting the paradigm that the stories of Jesus crucifixions were valid again they are not primary witnesses I ask you sir name me a single witness to the crucifixion of Jesus that lived to write a gospel during that time yes if you follow a rumor you know again our Christians are acting silly 
If someone says Michael Jackson died six months ago and it's a rumor, and 20 people now are writing about that rumor as if their writings are validating the historical event. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing stuff. The crucifixion never happened, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus was never crucified. You have no primary evidence. You have no body. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing but conjecture and hearsay. A rumor. You have no Roman documentation that identifies Jesus, yet we have definite identification of over 6,000 crucifixions during the Maccabean period alone. Hmm? But my Bible speaks about, about seven different Jesuses. Six or seven different Jesuses. One of them, who was the son of the Father, was freed and not crucified. The one who was the son of the Father was freed and not crucified. Isn't that interesting? Why did Allah deceive the disciples? Uh, as I already told you, you Coptic scholars, the disciples, number one, weren't there. Only the synagogue of Shaitan were there. There wasn't a single witness to the crucifixion that was a disciple. Now, Christians will try to say John, and then we'll get into that later. But you show me a single disciple that was present, besides John, hmm, who wrote a gospel. Show me, Coptic scholar. You claim the disciples were at the crucifixion. The disciples are claiming different. Show us. One second. Oh, yeah. Any witness outside of the disciples will do, right? So, again... Gomorrah's Dubai comes up with a criterion that will utterly destroy his own position. How many accounts are there in the Quran and the Hadith where there were no witnesses outside of Muhammad, but Gomer Os Dubar still believes they occurred? How about the night journey? Gomer Os Dubar prays five times every day because of some spurious claim of Muhammad that he was taken to a temple in Jerusalem which was actually destroyed almost 600 years earlier. Who witnessed that? Yet he claims that we can't say John was an eyewitness to any of those things even if the gospel tells us that he was indeed an eyewitness. Furthermore, this is what we find in his epistle, the epistle of John. That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched. This we proclaim concerning the word of life. The life appeared. We have seen it and testified to it. And we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. We proclaim to you what we have seen and heard, so that you also may have fellowship with us. And our fellowship is with the Father and with His Son, Jesus Christ. We write this to make our joy complete. And then John goes on to write about the atoning work of the Son of God. So according to Gomer, there were no witnesses of the crucifixion outside of the Apostle John, who doesn't count, and the various women who don't count. But besides all this, I have to ask again, if there were no witnesses to the crucifixion, then why does Gomer Osdubar appeal to the Nag Hammadi documents as authentic writings of the life of Yeshua, since they too testify of the crucifixion, although Gomer Osdubar didn't even know that. Okay, fine. No, 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 we're not going to play these silly games. We're not going to play silly games of Christians. They work six months to work an argument. You know, they use any wording and twisting and turning they can, and they want to play gotcha. They want to play gotcha in the room. Wallahi, ya muslimin, I kid you not. These Christians work six to eight months on constructing a format for a simple argument to play gotcha. They're not looking for... Let me, let me, let me, give, you a, let me give you an example. Hmm? A Christian came to the room yesterday. I think it was me, Brother Salahuddin, Ahi Balance Emblem. He tried to say... That the Quran says that some Jews worshipped Ezra as the son of God. Just to show you how fraudulent they are. The Jews, that the Quran mistakes the Jews as being, uh, emulating Ezra as the son of God. Okay? So, he goes on, he says, show us any scripture of the Jews 
that proves your claim. This is how stupid and silly our Christian arguments are. He says, show us any historical scripture that backs this claim. That backs, you know, nah, Mahi Salafi, exactly. There were some in Yemen. Actually, probably your ancestors and mine, Zahi. Astaghfirullah <laughs> Adim.